So let's go through this five and five, it's all about the glutes and how to use the golf loop band uh, to activate, to strengthen your glutes. Um, no need for a gym, you can do this at home. Uh, if you don't have the uh, golf loop, um, then you can use any other resistance band. Okay, two, uh, here you go. So first up, we'll go for uh, lateral walks or mini band walks, uh, whatever you want to call them. We'll pop the band around our ankles, okay? So you can do this standing in a squat type posture. You can also do it in a golf, um, the kind of set up, patting like posture. It doesn't really matter. I like to get most people to do it in a squat, kind of ready, ready stance, okay? Keeping the feet shoulder width apart. And all we're gonna do from there is take big step out, big step in, okay? Or a little step out, little step in even. Uh, as long as we keep tension on the band and that we don't go like this, uh, as we go, so ready posture, step out, step in, okay, keeping the band nice and wide as we go. <coughs> so, should feel it on the outside of your hips, okay, glutes. So, similarly to uh, kind of lateral band walks, uh, we can do some in and outs, okay, so we can get, either get into our golf posture or squat ready posture. Okay, and then from there, we're just gonna step in and out. Okay, all weights on this side, all we're working, loading up our right side, working the glutes on our left at the same time. You can do a little bit quicker if you want to. Okay, same the other side, so loading up the left side, in and out with the right, keeping good posture throughout. So the next one we'll do uh, is monster walks, so we'll do some forwards and backwards monster walks, okay? So again, band around your ankles uh, from here, keeping the feet nice and wide apart, feet at least hip width, shoulder width apart, okay? Again, into our sort of squat, red light posture, and then we're gonna take big step forwards, okay? Staying in the same posture, okay? Then the same backwards, okay? Sitting your bum down, nice and low, into our ready sort of squat posture still. Okay, keeping the tension on the band. Next one, uh, we can do simple abductions, okay, which is moving the leg away and extensions, which would be moving the hip backwards. So I'll just cover the bottom of something. And what we do is extensions backwards, really trying to feel like we're extending, using the glutes to extend. Okay, not arch our back, not extending through our spine, just extending at the hip. Same on the other side. Okay, and similarly with abductions, so hip away from the body. And same on the other side here, trying to keep nice and tall, posture still. So next up, we'll have the band around the ankles and we'll do uh, abductions, hip abductions and extensions. Uh, from, from the plank position, okay? So either from the floor meter plank, okay, from your hands, or you can do this from your forearms too, okay? We're gonna work on uh, extensions first, you can do repetitions or alternate, okay? And then abductions, we could still do the same leg, or again, alternate left and right. Trying to keep good plank posture throughout, so nice straight line throughout the whole body, stomach line brace, okay, bum squeeze throughout, and you should really feel uh, extensions working the glute max and then uh, side of the glute, so glute medius when you're doing uh, abductions. So, next up, we're going to do a uh, stand up version of clamshells or a squat with external rotation. So, band just above the knees this time. Coming into our squat posture, so feet shoulder width apart, okay, bum down, chest up, nice straight back posture. And from there, all we're going to do is externally rotate at the hip. Okay, kind of like a clamshell type exercise. We can do one or we can do both at the same time. Okay, holding the squat posture still throughout. 